Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet, and in this quick tip, I want to talk about color mapping. So, this scene, let's have a look at it quick. I've got a room. If you're wondering why you can see through the back side of these walls here, I've got a display tag on my room, and basically, I've got back face culling turned on. Uh, it's a simple setup, simple room. It's got a couple of spheres in it, and I uh, did a quick dynamic simulation with these boxes so they're laid out as such and then made them editable and I've got a camera in the room and the way that this room is being lit is by this HDR HDRI texture so that that's this sky material down here and you can see in the luminance channel I've got this HDR file and you can find those in the uh, content browser so I've I've got it set up like this and obviously for this HDR to actually light my scene because there are no actual lights it's just this sky object of the HDR I have turned on global illumination and if we look in global illumination we see we've got uh, our primary method is radiance cache and our secondary method is the light mapping and I've tweaked a, f a few of these settings in here but that's not what this um, quick tip is about I just want, wanted to give you a quick overview. So let's um, hit render and see what our scene looks like. Okay, as you can see, it is extremely dark within this room and that's because there's not enough light coming in. As you can see, there's only one entrance into the room. Uh, everything else is walled off, it's just this hole here, this very small hole, that light is able to come in through. And I've actually done that on purpose. Uh, let's get our picture viewer back. Yeah, I've actually done this on purpose because I wanted to demonstrate uh, what I'm talking about with the color mapping. So as you can see, not enough lights getting through. It's very, very dark in these areas and um, the exposure is not good at all. So. To combat this, what you might be thinking is, right, we need to push more light into the room. So let's open up our HDR material. And there's a couple of ways we could do this. In the illumination tab, we could actually set the generate GI to a higher level. Um, so the strength is at 100% right now. If I crank this up to say 400 and then render again, we can see the results. As you can see, it's a lot brighter. So that's one way that we could do it in this. But you'll notice that the actual HDR itself hasn't got any brighter. Um, the outside exposure, uh, it doesn't look very natural, to say the least. So, But, like I said, that's one way of doing it. I'm going to put this back down to 100%. Another way of doing this would be to go into the luminance channel where you're... HDR lives and you could actually change the mix mode to multiply like this uh, make sure the colors white and then crank up the brightness of the white and basically that white gets multiplied over the top of our HDR so that'd be another way of doing it I'm not going to do it that way I'm going to put it back to normal and set the brightness back to 100% and I'm actually going to go into the HDR file and crank up the exposure here so let's put this up to something a bit extreme, like five, and uh, see what kind of result we get. As you can see, this looks uh, sort of blown out in the scene now, but let's uh, render that again. Okay, so <clears throat> now you can see that we're getting much better lighting in the rest of the scene. This corner is not so dark. In fact, let's get rid of this image that I rendered before and then we can do a comparison there you go absolutely dark and uh, a lot better so light is actually reaching these corners of the room it also the shadows under here aren't pitch black you know it's looking a lot lot better but an issue we are having now is that the entrance or door if you will is well it's not a door it's a it's a hole in the wall is massively overblown now because of the exposure of the HDR and the amount of light that's actually coming through the uh, uh, on the first bounce if you like it's very 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 bright 
Um, so what we want is a balance between getting this lighting in the room and not having this overblown exposure in the opening. And that's where color mapping comes in. So if we go to our render settings and we go to effects and then come down to color mapping, we have a few settings here. You can, uh, you can mess around with the dark multiplier, the bright multiplier. You can even have a look at the help and see what they do. But for my purposes, they're going to be fine on their normal settings. And that is now enabled. So let's give it another render. Okay, the render's done. And as you can see, we are still getting the light reach our corners and brighten up all those horrible dark areas but the overexposure that was in our opening has now been tempered down and we can actually see our hdr and it actually looks um at the correct exposure in terms of everything else so i just wanted to share that with you quickly um i think in third party renderers like uh Octane or Redshift, I'm under the impression that this is actually turned on by default to get the balance of an image correct. But if you're using the physical render or the standard render in Cinema 4D, you need to enable this color mapping and that should help you out with this kind of thing. Okay, cheers for listening guys. Bye. For my viewers on YouTube, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can check out content at digitalmeet.uk where you can filter my tutorials by category and vote in the poll for upcoming tutorials. You can also follow me on social media, links in the description and the footer of my website. If you'd like to help support Digital Meet, this can be done via Patreon or the support page on the website. But if you want to help Digital Meet keep going and bag yourself some extra in-depth tutorial content, the Prime membership is available for purchase in the store. This will grant you access to the Prime membership area of the website. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.